Hey guys, it's Spire4 here. If you have one of these latest gaming mice, you must have motion sync option in your software. Today we're going to be debunking this option exactly and explain its benefits and trade-offs. Then come to a conclusion on whether you should use motion sync or just keep it off. So any gaming mouse has two main internal processes running independently. First, the polling rate. Second, the sensor data capture. These two systems will not be synchronized, which means when the USB polling happens and arrives, the mouse might not have a fresh sensor data ready for that polling. So the mouse will Will send a slightly old or even slightly early sensor data to the polling and then to your computer. So when I say old sensor data, it was taken before the poll happened. And then early sensor data was arrived just after the USB packet went out. And this misalignment can cause slight inconsistencies in the cursor movement. This will cause uneven tracking or maybe micro stutters. So you're going to have a less predictable aim in fast paced shooter games, let's say. But keep in mind, an average human will not really notice these inconsistencies, maybe like 1% of the gamers will. So motion sync basically buffers these sensor data just slightly so it sends it exactly when the next USB polling arrives. And this ensures better alignment with real world movement and the on-screen response. So the mouse would not be sending slightly older or slightly newer sensor data to the polling anymore. It's gonna buffer it to send the perfect timed data with the polling. And the higher your polling rate is, the better benefits you will get from motion sync. Sounds good so far, right? You can have a precise aim, smoother cursor, or crosshair movement, it sounds pretty good, right? However, motion sync can introduce a slight amount of input delay. It's nothing huge, actually. It can go up to one milliseconds, depending on your polling rate, of course, and the hertz of your monitor, whether you're going to notice that or not, and also depending on your mouse hardware and your sensor implementation. So that one millisecond or less delay is due to the slight buffering needed to align the signals, the polling rate signal and the sensor data signal. So having motion sync on is beneficial for the aim, for the smoothness of your crosshair. But if you have a high refresh rate monitor, some people can actually notice that one millisecond of delay. Also, just so you know, some companies like Razer have a built-in motion sync to their mice and they don't even give you the option to disable it. They just force you to use motion sync and another company called Logitech that doesn't even have this option built in. And maybe they just think it's placebo, they don't even bother with it. But the most competitor companies in the market right now have this option for you to choose whether you should turn it on or disable it. Me personally, I use motion sync on if I feel like I'm playing well, I just need a little bit of more accuracy and smooth smoothness in my gameplay. And sometimes when I feel like my reaction time is bad or when I feel like my brain is slow, I just turn off motion sync. So it actually depends on the day and motion sync doesn't work the same on every mouse. So as a conclusion, it comes down to personal preference. Please tell me in the comments if you're going to use motion sync or not after watching this video. And if you find this content entertaining or learn something by this video, why don't you sub and join the peripherals enthusiast club? Thanks for watching and have a good day. Let me play some Valorant now.